What's up everybody, I'm Nick Taylor and today I'm going to show you how I build these, the geometric wall panels. I hope you dig them, let's go check it out. The first thing that I need to do is cut down these quarter inch birch ply pieces that I picked up from Home Depot. The wall panels that I want to build are 16 inches by 16 inches, so I'm going to cut these backings down to 15 and a half inches square, which will allow for a quarter inch border on either side. I do most of my cutting for projects with this speed square, by the way. It's the greatest tool that I have and I use it all the time. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. these one quarter inch by one and three quarter inch pine strips that I'm going to cut down to half inch widths and use for the cross sectional pieces. So I'm going to pull up the table saw and do that now. It felt like I sanded a hundred of these individual pieces. It was the worst, and it took so long, so I won't make you watch it all. Okay, that sucked a lot. And next time, I'm definitely gonna sand those before I cut them into individual pieces, but what are you gonna do? Now I gotta glue them on to the backings that I made earlier. As I laid these down, I set aside a couple of the cross-sectional pieces to use as spacer. These worked really well in keeping identical spaces throughout each piece. The other thing that you should notice is that I'm wiping away the glue after I lay each piece down because you never want to see glue under stain. It looks really bad, so try to avoid that at all costs by just picking up any excess glue from underneath. As you can see, this is quite the setup here. And you're probably wondering, hey Nick, why didn't you use the table saw that you're resting this piece on as you cut it? That's a great question, and I honestly have no idea. I use my miter saw to get a clean 45 degree cut on either end of all the borders. And now I'm just adding it to the piece, which will be the last thing I do before we start staining.
much for watching. That's all for me this week. I love how these turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to like the video and be sure to subscribe to this page because I'm going to be putting out more creations soon. So stay tuned for that. But until then, stay golden. See ya.